Hello and welcome to another bonus quarantine episode of the Heart of Markness podcast. I'm Mark, and this week, typically I do Mike Millard recordings that are released every Saturday by the Gems Group. And this week it's a, um, I'm not doing it, first of all, because uh, it's a show from 1974 A Yes concert, which is very cool in and of itself, but it's a Yes show from before he got his Nakamichi and AKG mics, Nakamichi tape rig. So um, it's not the stellar quality that we've come to expect. And but more more importantly than that, because he was still able to get good captures, um, not the stellar ones like I mentioned, because the equipment wasn't as good, but um, Basically because it was a 1974 Yes concert, so there were like three songs played and they're each, you know, 30 minutes long. So I couldn't really play a couple of songs in a podcast without having a seven-hour podcast. So if you want it, it's on dimeadozen.org. You can grab it. It'll be up and around elsewhere, I'm certain. It is a master recording and it is very cool, but I did not grab it. What I did, did I grab it? I did grab it, but I'm not, I'm not going to cover it. I don't think maybe it's maybe at a later date. What I did grab was a Grateful Dead show from November 16th, 1970. And I grabbed it because at this show, they were joined by Steve Winwood, who at this point might've still been Stevie Winwood. Um, I think at this point he was like 20 years old, maybe. Um, having been in the Spencer Davis group at like, I think age 15. And then from there, you know, Spencer Davis group, uh, I'm a man. Yes, I am. And I can't help but love you. So, and he also did, uh, Oh, give me some loving. Give me, give me some loving as a teenager. And then of course he went to, um, blind faith and then traffic. I don't know if traffic preceded blind faith at all. But a Blind Faith with Eric Clapton and Ginger Baker in 1969. And then Traffic shortly thereafter, or concurrently, or at some point. Uh, And then, uh, you know, he did some more stuff and some more stuff. And then in the 80s, he became an AOR radio darling with Back in the High Life. Bring me a higher love. All that stuff. So, there's Stevie Winwood. And he's jamming with the dead because both Blind Faith and Traffic were jam bands and they're used to playing 300 minute songs of lots and lots of improvisation. So here it's a standard Grateful Dead concert. Uh, They're playing the Fillmore East, November 16th, 1970 and 1970. I don't know much about the dead, but what I do know about Live Dead is in 1970. This is the the dead that I am the most familiar with the. the 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 going down the road feeling bad not fade away bertha i turned 21 in prison that era of the dead and this is that i think they're there's they're kind of oozing out of it a little but uh pig pen still alive and uh here is the set list of the entire show which i'm not playing i'm only playing the stevie winwood parts but you got your bill graham intro me and my uncle House PA music playing a bunch of shit. Friend of the Devil. Cold Rain and Snow. King B. China Cat Sunflower going into I Know You Rider. Stevie Winwood comes on stage. They play Hard to Handle. The same song that Otis Redding and the Black Crows. Uh, Big Railroad Blues. Not Fade Away. Going down the road feeling bad. Wrapping it up with a Not Fade Away sandwich. And then uh, set two. Frozen Lager, Mama Tried, Truckin', The Other One, and Uncle John's Band. So that is it. I will throw it up on my website. Now that I got my mega situation sorted out, it still won't take a credit card. It won't, still won't take my credit card because uh, my bank is like, no, that's suspicious activity. Like, no, it's a foreign transaction. The, the, the payment processor is in Luxembourg, but I assure you, I assure you, I'm like, no, that's a, that's a... That's a suspicious payment. Look, it's my payment. It's five dollars and sixty-four cents. I authorize it. And they're like, I don't know. 
send us 400 million pieces of identifying paperwork and all kinds of things so that we can be certain that this money is yours. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So I'm jumping through all these fucking bureaucratic hoops just during COVID. So no one's in the office. So everything's taking 10 million years longer than possible. And I'm like, I am simply trying to pay my cloud service $5 and 64 cents. It's my money. It's my account and my card and I'm paying it and I've paid it for the prior, however long I've had it, six months at least without a, without a concern. And now suddenly this comes up as like, you think I'm trying to buy yellow cake uranium or something? No, it's a cloud service. It's where you put data, assholes. So long story short, I couldn't pay with uh, my account. I couldn't pay with my card. So I took my, uh, my housemate's card and paid with that. No problem. Her credit union is like, well, I assume that you're making this purchase on purpose and it's $5 and 64 cents. So we're not going to call in the fucking Homeland Security over this transaction. So long story short, I've got my mega account back, which was scary. I'm like, I don't want to lose all this shit. So that's good. And I'm still slogging through all these f red flags and send us your license. Upload your latest bank statement. How do we know this is who you are? It's like, because oh, a criminal mastermind's not going to make a, a $5.64 transaction and then contact you and ask it to be approved after giving proof that it's my fucking money. <sighs> ridiculous all right none of you care about that sorry about that that has nothing to do with you everything to do with me and i shouldn't have laid that on you because it's not germane Alrighty, what is germane is listening to this lovely grateful dead soundboard recording and let's talk about that since the deadheads mean have <laughs> they're they're the they're as as you know i'm sure they're the apex of of live taping um, this is soundboard, master reel to a Revox deck, 10 inch, quarter inch, 10 inch reel, quarter inch tape at seven and a half inches per second to a Revox B77 playback deck to an Alessis Masterlink ML9600, probably a DAC or an ADC, I guess, to digital uh, converter to CD, and then to Shorten, which is uh, an old school, before Flack, there was Shorten. Um, and then, da 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 converted to Flack by D. Winters. All right. Excellent. There you go. Steve Winwood is playing on uh, Pigpen's Hammond organ. I don't Pigpen must have either slipped over and played something else or just fucked off for a little while. In any case, let's listen to a little bit of The Grateful Dead. And this is not super duper crazy, trippy, hippy, dippy, man, Grateful Dead. I mean, it's the same hippie man and everybody's high as fuck. But it's not one of those 600 year songs that's just spacey and trippy. It's it's them playing their bluesy, bluesy, weird ass. The, the style of music does not go with their name and their image. I still remember being like 14 and buying a Grateful Dead album going, this is the coolest band name ever. Look at that. A fucking skull and the lightning bolt and all that stuff. This is going to be rad. Because, you know, at 14, I was listening to... How old was I at 14? How old was I at 14? That would be 1982. So, yeah, I'm still like Judas Priest, man. Listening to that. Judas Priest, Iron Maiden. The Who? I don't think I liked Led Zeppelin yet. I started liking, liking Zeppelin in 82. So, maybe. But in any case, I was profoundly disappointed when I bought, um, I think I got Working Man's Dead and put it on. And I'm like, this sounds like this shit my dad listens to, but worse. <laughs> anyway, digression's over. Let's listen to, what are we going to play? Hard to handle. Bow, 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 bow. Nope, that's uh, not Fade Away. Hard to handle is, uh, well, you know the song. Hey, little girl, let me light your candle, because uh, I'm, I'm sure hard to handle. So let's listen to it, because they sing it better than I. 
So you got your Grateful Dead with Stevie Winwood. Stevie is not singing on this song. He's just playing the organ, but he is prominent in the mix, and it's cool. So here we go. Grateful Dead, Steve Winwood, hard to handle, November 16th, 1970, at the Fillmore East, Heart of Markness. <laughs>
I'm a man up on the sea. And I can give you what you want. You got to come home for me. And I got a whole lot of good old love, and I got something slow. When I get to throwing it on, you got to come back for more. For the thing will come by the dozen. Ain't got no dust gold. Let the thing let me light your candle. Well, that was lovely, wasn't it, children? I thought it was good. It was nice hearing Stevie come out and play that solo. Stevie. I call him Stevie because I think at that time he was still Stevie Winwood. Because, um, you know, he started, you know, like Stevie Wonder got famous when he was 12, so he was little Stevie Wonder for a long time. Oh, he's Stevie Wonder forever. <laughs> Just thought they dropped the little. Sorry. Bad example. He's Stevie Wonder now, and he's 70. Well... Steve Winwood, Stephen Winwood, Mr. Winwood, um, held himself admirably there. Man, the Grateful Dead is so, such a unique thing to me. They, I, I've tried several times over the years to really get into them because it's 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 a body of work that's you know almost endless. So many, so many, so many shows, so many recordings, so many offshoots. Of the band, so many side projects. I mean, I just, um, I recognize that there's magic there. It's just not the magic that, um, lights my fire. I have a couple of things I like of theirs. A, a lot. There's a, um, Franklin's Tower from 1976 that I absolutely adore. October, I think, but don't hold me to it. Um... I love me some Ripple, and again, that, um, I think it's, I can't even remember, I think the name is actually Grateful Dead, the album, that is the live album that's from this era, it starts off with Bertha, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, and then uh, finishes with Going Down the Road Feeling Bad, and has Mama Tried, and all that shit. I love that, but uh, I'm a Zeppelin guy, that's what, that's what hooked me, that's... That's the flag I fly, although I like this a lot. I like listening to it. And now, what are we going to listen to, Mark? Well, the next one, because it's a dead thing, it's 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 gonna, just going to be one long flow of uh, Not Fade Away, the Buddy Holly song with the Bo Diddley beat. And the Bo Diddley beat is that bump, 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 bump. That's the Bo Diddley beat. And Not Fade Away was done by Buddy Holly with the Bo Diddley beat. Done again by The Grateful Dead. And it is, uh, I believe Steve sings the first verse of Not Fade Away. And the rest of the band. But he's playing organ through the whole time. And we've got about, let's see, 9, 15, 18. All right, about 18 minutes of Not Fade Away, going down the road feeling bad, and then wrapping it up with Not Fade Away, which will close out the first set. And that'll close out this podcast, too, although I will be back for all the talking. Uh, yeah. Let's wrap that up. All right, let's go. Not Fade Away, going down the road feeling bad, wrapping up with Not Fade Away with Stevie Winwood playing with the dead, November 16th, Fillmore East, 1970. See you in about 20 minutes, y'all.
down the road feeling bad.
how it's gonna be I'm gonna give your love to me I won't love you not today No, I love when I fade away you know I love when I fade away Cadillac. I tried to show you, but you drive me back. These got to be real. You're gonna know just how I feel. Hey, love's the real, not fade away. The love's the real, not fade away. Love's a real, not fade away. Love's a real, not fade away. 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 That's so funny. I had done my entire spiel, the whole thing. I was just wrapping it up when I realized I was not recording. I was focused on the the volume meter to make sure I'm not overdriving this, but uh, I realized I had not hit record. So let's do it again. There we go. That was The Grateful Dead with Steve Winwood. Closing out their uh, second set, from what I could tell uh, from the interwebs. And it looks like of the two sets from this night, it looks like only the second set is extant. And uh, that's okay. It's a good set. I liked it. Bobby got a little excited at the end there, didn't he? Good stuff. Such an interesting band. Such an... In- I mean, I know they kind of gave birth to a genre of hippie jam bands, but... There's something unique about them. And I like it. Every once in a while, I like to get down to the Grateful Dead a little bit. So, okie dokie. We have that. And there's another week of Heart of Markness under the belt. And my next podcast will be Thursday. And will be a Led Zeppelin or Jimmy Page themed topic. And you are welcome to follow me. And I invite you to follow me on Twitter at Heart of Markness. Facebook group, Heart of Markness. It's a closed group, but you just hit the thing saying, I want to join, and I will let you join. It's a nice group of folks. Very, very cool. Very, very knowledgeable. Very, very welcoming and warm. Uh, You can also go to heartofmarkness.com, where you can find all my podcasts, as well as, where applicable, the shows from which the podcasts derive. So, for example, you'll be able to download this entire 1970 set, not just the songs that I featured in the podcast, at heartofmarkness.com. If not today, then they should be up by tomorrow. I am a lazy man at times. If you'd like to support this podcast, if you like what I do, if you like having a podcast out there that highlights and uh, showcases live music from the classic rock era primarily, Led Zeppelin heavy, but with other bands, as you've seen, you are welcome to join uh, my army of patrons on patreon.com slash heart of Markness. And uh, these are the Titans upon whom 
No, upon whose shoulders? There it is. The Titans, upon whose shoulders the podcast rests. So big thank you to Wayne, Brad, Danielle, Tracy, Peter, Mark, David, Bill, Mimo, and Avi. Thank you very much. And thank you very much to honorary, honorary, honorary patron Evan and legacy patron Jeremy, who uh, (laughs) provided the mic through which I'm speaking to you, was one of my first patrons for the first few months of my podcast and designed the logo, not the face logo that says wisdom, but the microphone logo that says Heart of Mark Jimmy Page podcast. That's all him. Love you, Jeremy. And uh, if you want to join that number, when the saints go marching in, oh, marching in, you are welcome to become a patron at patreon.com slash heart of Markness. And you'll get a podcast all for yourself that no one else but the other patrons get because you'll be better than other people. And that is it. I'll be back Thursday with, uh, I plan to be back Thursday with another Led Zeppelin Jimmy Page themed outing. And uh, I'll see you then. Everybody, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I hope everybody is wonderful. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.